welcome to the University Libraries. This two-part lesson covers using the database communication and mass media complete. Part one covers basic search strategies and part two will cover more advanced search techniques. While this lesson is about a specific database, the search techniques can and should be used when using other databases. The database Communication and Mass Media Complete is useful for anyone doing research into areas of communication studies, advertising, marketing, and media studies. Start at the USD Library's homepage to access any of our databases. Saving the library homepage in your bookmarks will let you access the homepage quickly and easily. Click on the tab labeled Databases. They are listed alphabetically. Clicking on the letter C will take us to the section where the database, Communication and Mass Media Complete, is located. You can also search databases by discipline by opening the drop-down menu that says All Databases and selecting a discipline such as Communication Studies. Unless you are accessing the database from within the ID Weeks Library building, a new window will appear asking you to sign in using your USD username and password. Do so just as if you were checking your email. This ensures only authorized users such as students, faculty, and staff have access to these expensive databases. The database, Communication and Mass Media Complete, will open up at the Advanced Search screen. Always choose the Advanced Search screen over the Basic Search screen whenever using a database. This is because the Advanced Search screen gives you the available options in a simple-to-use format, while the Basic screen hides the available options. This database uses the EBSCOhost interface. It is important to know which database you are using, such as Common Mass Media Complete, Academic Search Premier, and so forth. If you go to the Reference Desk for help with your research, the librarian will need to know which databases you have used so far. Since the University Library subscribes to over 50 EBSCOhost databases, simply saying EBSCOhost doesn't help you out. Imagine you are doing research for a speech or perhaps for a course on interpersonal communication. Your topic is divorce and its impact on children. Whenever you use a database, you need to do at least two things. First, you need to tell the database what to look for. This usually consists of keywords and or phrases. Keywords are individual words related to your topic. In this example, keywords for your topic might include divorce, children, effect, or effects. The advanced search screen has three rows of blank text boxes on the left-hand side and three boxes on the right-hand side that say select a field optional. Typing in the keyword children on the first line, then typing in divorce on the second line and hitting the search key will return a few hits. However, this is not a very good search. We can do much better. The second thing you need to do when using a database is to select where the database is to look for your search terms. Unlike search engines that simply scour the web looking for keywords, a database is indexed and organized so you can search for author terms, title terms, and so forth. By identifying where the database should search for your terms, you increase the focus and accuracy of your search. If you're not sure where to search for your keywords, select All Text from the drop-down menu on the right-hand side of the database. This tells the database you want to search every word in every article contained in that database for your search terms. Doing this with your search terms will dramatically increase your results. The default setting of Select the Field Optional means the database is searching only the citation and abstract for your keywords rather than searching the full text of every article. Some databases will use full text or all text as the default option. Regardless, you always want to select where the database will look for your search terms. The limiters in the Communication and Mass Media Complete database are located on the left-hand side of the search screen. Other databases may place these limiters on the right-hand side or at the bottom of the search screen. Limit the search to scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. A scholarly or peer-reviewed journal is a journal which has a panel of experts review each article before the article is accepted for publication. Trade and popular magazines do not do this. You could also select the full text limiter, which will return only those articles that the database has in full text, either in HTML or PDF formats. 
However, because you can use the interlibrary loan service to obtain articles that the database doesn't give full text access to, you should use the full text limiter sparingly. Your instructor might ask you to limit your sources to newer articles, such as those published within the last five or 10 years. You can adjust the publication date by using the slider bar at the bottom of the limiter box. In this lesson, we have covered how to access databases within the university libraries and how to use basic search strategies such as keywords and optional limiters to make your search both focused and manageable. In part two of this lesson, we will cover advanced search strategies including phrase searching, author searching, and searching by subject terms.